Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to a very rainy day here in West Virginia. Seems like, I don't know, for the past two months it has done nothing but rain here and I, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, welcome to episode three to 350Z build. If you haven't watched episode one and two, I'll link them down in the description below. Pretty much me picking up the car and me giving you a walk around of the car while I was on the trailer. So a little backstory, found a 2006 350Z up in Cincinnati, went up, picked it up, brought it back. Said that it had like 182,000 miles on it. It's an 06 rev up. Timing cover cracked on the old motor. It was leaking oil. So he got a, I think like 40 or 60 K mile replacement. Put it in, try to start it, wouldn't start. So he sold the car. Got it home. I was gonna drag out this build series. I thought it was gonna be some kind of catastrophic thing that I was gonna be able to make a lot of content with, uh, trying to diagnose the problem. Well, it didn't turn out to be that. So let me hop in the car. We're gonna go for a short ride in the car and I'll tell you exactly what was going on. All right, guys, so we made it up to like the local college. There's like an underpass here and I wanted to come here to talk because I'm out of the rain. But anyway, like I said, the car wouldn't start. We didn't know exactly why. And I thought this was gonna be a really drawn out process. So me and my buddy Brandon put it up on jack stands. Previous owner told me that the harness from the battery to the alternator to the starter was actually burnt and that the starter was getting really hot and actually started smoking. So previous owner put a new starter on it. He said that he didn't buy the harness so he didn't try to start it. I ordered the harness, it came in, we got under there. The harness was fine. Uh, the starter was brand new. It doesn't even look like it was ever cranked. We found a ground that was off, it was on the front of the motor. We hooked that back up and started the car up and it actually started like immediately. But it was running really, really bad. Jumped out, turned it off and got to look. One of the crazy things, two of the coil packs was unhooked that we found on the driver's side bank. I think it was four and six. Completely unhooked them up. It was started up, still kind of running rough. We thought, well, maybe it's been setting so long that it just needs gas, like some fresh gas. So we actually drove it up to like the local gas station, was like a mile and a half away, running really, really bad, misfiring and everything. So we put gas in it, brought it back home, and it was just running rough. And I actually have this little guy that I grabbed off of Amazon that plugs in to the OBD. And it's like one of those uh, Bluetooth diagnostic things that you can actually connect to your phone. And of course, when I ran diagnostics on the car, it was showing misfires, uh, multiple cylinder misfires, which is exactly what it sounded like. So I was like, man, this car, you know, it's gonna just be a headache. So I got to look and I actually found like an ancient thread on one of the 350Z forms from like 2006 or something. And they was like, a lot of people that change their spark plugs and everything get the uh, coil pack wires for four and six backwards. It's like the one for six has gray with red striped wire and the one for four has just solid gray wire. So we looked and of course that's exactly what it was. Fired up the car, started completely, it ran smooth, we cleared the codes, they have not came back. Now I haven't drove the car for like a long time. I've only drove it um, around kind of where I live because the DMVs are closed to have insurance on the car but I have not been able to license the car yet. I sent everything in, the title and everything, but I have got nothing back. That's kind of my hold up because of the COVID stuff, the DMVs are still shut down. So let me give you another walk around of this car. I'm gonna show you what's done to it and kind of what I want to do to it and what the build series is going to turn into because I thought it was going to be a big mechanical build series but the car actually started so kind of threw a taper in the plans so let's go ahead and I'll show you what it's got what we're going to do so we're going to start up front it has these black canards on it I actually like the look of them the hardware kind of leaves a lot to be desired especially on this car so I'm actually going to uh, either get new hardware or we're going to rivet these on and I also want to tint these side markers kind of the same deal for this other side it's kind of the same thing they're rusty and they kind of look bad the headlight eyelids I actually love these. I thought about doing them in carbon fiber, but they look really, really good in red. So we're going to leave those, I believe. I would like to do black housing headlights or take these apart and paint this black because it's got projector HIDs and they look amazing, but I just don't like the chrome. I don't like chrome at all, to be honest with you. Bumper quick release, absolutely keeping because it is so handy on a lower car. Be able to pull the bumper off, get it on a trailer or whatever we need to do. That's definitely going to stay. This front lip, I actually like it. I like how it looks on the car. I think it's pretty aggressive and I like the look. So we're going to to keep that but i'm going to paint it gloss black to match the canards and i believe i'm going to paint these gloss black as well i think that these come off if they do i'll paint them if not i may just see if there's like some kind of aftermarket grill that can go in there front of the car it needs an emblem it's got some like remnants of an emblem past but i need to clean up all of this glue i don't know exactly what this stuff is do something about that put an emblem there the wheels they are work d9rs i believe it's what they are i think it's like 18s all the way around pretty dished in the rear so it's definitely a stack 
staggered setup. I'm gonna keep those because I love the wheels. They are spaced just a little bit. They do have a spacer. These I thought I was gonna replace, but they kind of grew on me and I actually kind of like the look of them. So I'm gonna keep those. I'm gonna try to clean up the calipers. If they clean up, that's great. If not, I'm gonna repaint them red. The side emblems are already painted black. I think they kind of need redone. It looks like this was done with a rattle can. I'm probably gonna replace these. Door handles, also black, and they have seen better days because it just looks like they sprayed just black paint on it. Doesn't look like they prepped it or anything a whole lot. So I'm gonna redo those as well. It's already tinted, so I don't have to worry about tint. It's actually tinted uh, pretty good ways down here. So I'm gonna throw my logo right here in the center. It had a bunch of stickers on it that I peeled off because I'm not, I don't really like all those kind of generic stickers or whatever. So peeled that off. I do want to wrap the roof black. I think that the black roof wrap will look good on it. Let me step back here and let you see the whole car. I think the black roof wrap will look really good. So probably gonna do that. Back wheels it has some rash on it. So I'm thinking about eventually getting these repowder coated, but I'm probably gonna stay somewhat similar to that color because I think it looks terrific in that color. I may go a little bit shade more toward the gold side than the bronze that they kind of are. I kind of like them. It kind of sets really nice, which brings me to suspension. It is on BC Racing DS Series coilovers all the way around. They ride kind of rough, but it is, I mean, absolutely slammed. The fitment is on point, front and rear. It, it's a rough ride. That's to be expected. He did take off the rear wiper. I don't know if I'll put it back on or see if there's a plug or something for that. I don't like this just sticking up here. It's kind of unsightly. I kind of maybe want my rear wiper back. It kind of looks real clean without it, so I don't know. Exhaust wise, this is a still in cat back and I think it has test pipes on it as well. I'm gonna keep those. I actually like the sound of them and I like the look of the dual exhaust on this. No, we're not gonna do a Tome on this. Is that a Tome duh? No, it's not a Tome, it's still it. And that's what we're gonna stay with. Now this unsightly thing has to go. Like I actually like this wing. I think it's like the Rocket Bunny style wing. I don't know exactly what happened to it. This is how it was when I bought it. It looks like somebody literally dropped a bowling ball on it and then tried to like, I guess, stitch this back together, but did not do a good job. What's even worse, if you look from back here, it's just completely mounted crooked. If you look at like this corner versus that corner, this corner is up and it is so far over toward the tail light on this side it's flush but on this side it's not I'm going to keep these little mud guards I actually like the looks of those uh, front and rear I think I'm gonna find it if there's some kind of like little side lip that goes on the side of it probably put that on there and I don't know if there's any kind of rear diffuser or anything that we can put on this as well the rear marker lights are also tinted I forgot to say that and I like that look so I'm gonna keep that tail lights they're tail lights I'm gonna keep those I may throw just a little bit of smoke tin over top of them but that's about it now moving on to the inside side it's pretty clean in here I mean I haven't cleaned it since I've got it it's got a couple painted pieces already and I actually like the look of those so I'm gonna keep them this seats in really good shape that has to go I don't know what it is about like the new import scene and like crown royal bags or liquor bags in general as shift boots but that has to go hate that and I can't stand it and it's coming out it does have the factory Z floor mats I'm gonna see if I can't get these shampooed and get them back looking new coming to the driver's side this seat has seen better days literally looks like a uh, tiger got a hold of it like not tiger king but like probably carol baskins like carol baskins definitely did this got a grip royal steering wheel it has the nrg hub i found out that this is a common problem but that is broke so i have to fix that and actually this whole thing pulls off this door panel is pretty much about like the other one it's still pretty mint i'm going to keep the painted stuff it looks okay uh it's got a little bit of like rubbing down in there but it is what it is one of the big problems i can't get my hood open uh something happened to the cable to the hood latch back here but i have to take my front bumper off on one side grab a hold of the like cable and pull it and pop it and it'll open but there's not a whole lot to see under there it is a pretty much stock 06 rev up motor it has like an aem cold air intake and still an exhaust it's pretty much stock other than that so guys that's going to be it for this upload i know i was like kind of hyping this build series because i thought it was going to be something kind of crazy with the engine but it wasn't so we can just jump into the little project to get this car very nice bought it to make it a drift car because i thought that it you know it's going to kind of be raggedy kind of way too nice to make it into a drift car because i don't know how to drift I don't want to like put this car into like a wall or anything. So I'm going to try to find kind of a raggedy 350. 240s are getting a little too expensive. Uh, drift tax has taken over on those. So I'm going to find another just 0304, 350, kind of raggedy, rusty, whatever. So if you want to see more 350Z content or any content that I do, which is off-road, on-road, we kind of do everything on this channel. Kind of document just my car life and motorcycle life actually, but I haven't done much motorcycle stuff here lately. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 3K, hit 2800 today and I'll see you guys on the next video.